It was in the early hours of Wednesday morning when an Israeli airstrike struck this town of Brital in Baqa. Now we understand three homes were destroyed, seven people killed, four children and three adults. And I can still see children's clothes and books and people's belongings around this area. The blast was so powerful it destroyed homes and the walls across the street. And when you speak to people here, there's been an increase, at least greater intensity of Israeli airstrikes taking place. Now, seven people just died here. In the next town in Baalbek, another four people were killed, bringing the total to 11. And when you drive into these towns and villages, you see that many people have left and you can also see the destruction caused by Israeli strikes in and around this area. And people didn't expect this. This part of Lebanon is far away from the southern borders where the bulk of that conflict has been taking place. But Israel has been striking deeper and deeper into Lebanon, causing large numbers of civilian casualties. The Israelis hit civilians, nothing except civilians, women and children, five, four and ten years old. They killed civilians. This is a criminal regime. The enemy claims it's hitting military targets, but they're killing women and children and saying this is military. We know that they are killing our women and children and we know how to avenge them. Despite the loss that people have suffered here, when you speak to them, they say that their support for Hezbollah and the resistance, as they call it, remains steadfast. But they didn't think that the conflict would reach so far into Lebanon. Assad Beg, Al Jazeera, Brital, Beqa. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.